Yo, like, subscribe, comment below, and keep it a buck. Five things that you should never do. Number one is being needy, right? In other words, if you got if you're going on a date with a chick, the first date, you don't need to call her tomorrow, the next day, for the second date and set set the second date up right away. In other words, you, even matter of fact, you should actually after the first date wait for her to call you back. You just tell her at the time. Listen, have a nice time. Have a good night. Let me know when you get home. That's it. When she gets home, this initiates her initial text. She can say, hey, I'm home or whatever. Wait for her to evaluate the date. Picture all the things that she wants to remember about the date and decide whether she wants to call you back or not. You don't need to call her and start hitting her up to find out if she enjoyed the date by setting up a second date, right? Too many times, too, too many guys get caught up in the fantasy of the date and say, oh, wow, she was a great girl. I enjoyed her company. And, you know... Now, I can't wait. The next day is going to be great. Uh, um, I can see her doing this. Start creating this fantasy world when it's only one date, guys. It's only one date. If it's only one date, treat it as one date. Don't make a second date. Let her call you back and see how you're doing and then create the next date. All right? Next one. Text bombing. Do not text bomb women. In other words, don't keep bombarding her with texts. How you doing? Uh, uh, um, uh, Hello, stranger. All, all those. Uh, hey, are you okay? You know, is anybody there? All this, all these kind of, um, uh, you know, needy. It comes off needy, guys. It, it comes off insecure. It comes off as if you're not good enough, and you don't feel good enough that you had a good enough date with her that she should remember you. You feel like she's gonna forget you. So let me call it and 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 get in touch with her real quick. Let her know I'm still there. I'm still interested in her. I don't want her to forget about me. Oh no, we don't want that. So you want to make sure. That you calm, cool, collective. Don't keep calling her and bombing her. She knows you're there. She remembers the date. If she remembers it good enough and you made an impression on her, then she'll call you back. If she doesn't, you move on. Guys, move on. Move as if, right? Every day. Move as if. Let her come back, reach out to you, right? Then you can consider setting up a second date. Give it three days or whatever. Set up the next date. When are you free, right? What works for you? What's your schedule like next week? Simple words like that, guys. Get you right, right on board. But don't bombard her and text bomb her, all right? It's a turn off. You, women feel that like they can't breathe and all the nonsense. So don't do it. So let's say you want a second date. A second date with her, great. Now she likes you. She, now you guys go on a second date. Day two, a little more familiar with her. Okay, you get a little comfortable. Don't get too comfortable, right? Because if she's on the phone or whatever, if she grabs the phone, guys, you have to show confidence at all times. If she gets a phone call from someone, she has the phone. Don't ask her who's that on the phone. Oh boy, that was that seemed important. You know, you don't need to find out or fish for answers as to who she's on the phone with. It doesn't matter who she's on the phone with. She's sitting there with you, right? Enjoy the moment. Be in the moment because the minute you start questioning her like a like uh, like an informer, she's gonna feel threatened, right? Like you're trying to control her. Right, you just met her, and she and she'd be true. She'd be right to think that way too. She'd be right to feel that way. So, in other words, you know, let her. If she got a phone call, it could be a test, guys. Women test guys all the time, getting on the phone and laughing and being all flirtatious on the phone. A second date with you, fine. It could be a test, but you can't fail the test by asking her who's that on the phone. You seem pretty happy with that guy or whatever, or are you are you seeing somebody right now? Too soon. Let her ask you first. Right, never ask a girl. Let a woman ask you, "Hey, what are we? What are we doing? Now? Where, where's this going?" All right, never be the first one to ask. Let her, because she has to love you more, like you more than you like her. That's what makes her attracted to you, right? Attractions for men are easy; it's easy, but for women, they have to feel challenged. They gotta feel they need to 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 get your prize. You're the prize. They need to obtain you, right? Your alpha energy, right? Your masculinity. If you do it any other kind of way, guys, you're going to look weak and soft. Don't do it. Here's another one. Third, fourth date. Now you're really comfortable. You know a little bit of a story. Don't start asking her for hugs and kisses and, you know, oh, let me hold your hand and start reaching out for her hand all the time. Guys, once you hold her hand, she'll come in your vicinity. She'll get near you. She'll either bump you with her arm or she'll touch you. Touching is usually best by invitation, guys, right? If she's going to, like be attracted to you, right? She, she touches your arm or she laughs, oh, you're so funny and she puts a hand on you or whatever. Then that means she's ready to touch. She's ready to be touched, right? 
Because by the second date, though, third date, she at least have a first kiss or whatever. So you got to think about that as well. But if she's not doing any of this stuff here, as far as keep grabbing her hand or needing a hug, asking for a hug before you go, don't leave without giving me, oh, how you, you know, all that stuff right there, guys. How you doing? Hug? Great. Um, um, when you're meeting up or you're about to leave, fine. But more often, you're asking for hugs. Not a good look, guys. That means you're needy, you're clingy. You're coming up a little bit clingy, so don't be clingy. If she wants a hug, she'll ask for it. If she wants to feel your energy, she'll ask for it. So let her do so. Don't be highly sensitive. Sensitive guys, women, they like sensitive guys. I want I mean, mine to be sensitive and vulnerable. It doesn't mean whining and crying. In other words, if you ask, if she you have to go out somewhere and she rejects your offer, don't say, oh, that's fine. And then later on, you're texting her, oh, I, I don't know why you didn't want to hang out with me. And what's the problem here? I thought we were together. And so <laughs> don't do all this, uh, you know, um, this sensitive, you know, behavior. Guys, rejection is just a concept. If, it, if you, a rejection really means, you know what, let me get some more people. That means that means next. Rejection means next, right? Next up. So just hold, keep all your eggs in one basket, period, right? Unless you decided, hey, this is one or whatever, whatever. But in most cases, guys, don't keep all your eggs in one basket until it's until it's deemed necessary. Until she says, I want to be exclusive, I'm serious, and she shows and proves it, guys. Listen, you're far better than you think. Like, subscribe, comment below. When you hear your family, your family, you know I got you, kid. It's XL, and I'm out.